and throw a slime ball. Uh, a glue ball. Throw your glue ball. Eight. You know, I also give you advantage for it, given it's coming up through an narrow space. So, see if you get. <laughs> no, no, okay. No, Th no. Thank uh, you, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> no. Uh, no, two kind. things. Okay. You throw yeah. your blue ball, and it immediately starts to congeal a large chunk of it so that it starts to then pull away from. And a smaller slime continues to slide up towards you. It's currently ten foot away from you, and the hole. Wow. Yeah. This thing is in a hole the entire time. I thought it was like a piece of rock. Kara, your turn. I will stab it with my short sword. You go into the hole to do so? No. It's currently 10 foot away. In the hole. Well, the slime's currently in the hole? Yep. 10 foot down. Oh. Hmm, oh, I... Okay. I don't want to risk whiffing another distraction rock, so I, I can't really do anything here. So I'll just end my turn. Brandon. Okay, so this time Brandon is going to, as mentioned to Dave, that he's going to move them both towards the hall and to watch his step. Uh, there is light now in the room, sure. He's doing it anyway because he's being a petulant child. Uh, I appreciate so... that, sir. So you said the, it's uh, ten foot down in the hall, right? Uh, yes. Um, would poison spray reach with the range of ten foot? Uh, I'll allow it. Okay. Uh, con 12. Whose decks I'll give it disadvantage, but it fails. Nine poison damage. You see it just start to bubble away into a dark full of goo, and it's gone. It is now just a stain okay. against the wall where it was, and a part of a congealed mess left behind that you're now gonna, someone's now going to have to pass through. What are you all doing? Um, yeah. Nothing just, at the moment. Uh, do you have uh, a rope, I believe? I do. Get down there. I tie the rope around my middle, the other end to uh, David. Oh, okay, I've not put another on the uh, button. Python. Python. Yeah. And you start to make your way down, then passage? Not yet. I give the rope a very strong tug. See if it's. <laughs> Actually, if it roll me your strength, you give it a very solid tug, and you feel the vibration from the piton. But it doesn't seem to budge. All right. And now I start making my way down. You make your way down, and your feet reach the congealed mess from when the glue ball hit the slime. I kick it. You now have gunk on your shoe. Congratulations. Shouldn't have kicked it. <laughs> Continue <laughs> making my way down. You make your way down and you find yourself in part of another tunnel. Darker. The floor seems a bit slick here. Partially wet. Uh, guys. Making a sound. I don't see another way from here. You mean it's a dead end? And it's really moist. Oh, I see. I see another way. Uh, I thought that was the plan. You Why? Can't... Why? Is... Are you gonna come here one by one? Right, okay. Do uh, you want to head down next, Dave? Um, oh, I'll I, lead I, you down. I've you? already headed I, down. I, I, can, uh, I can go down. Here's the thing, though. We did learn that if there are a lot of tiny slimes, there's probably a big one as well, huh? Mm -hmm. At some yeah. point. We've seen a lot of tiny slimes, so... Yeah, there's don't... probably a big one. Somewhere, yeah, but it doesn't mean that it's close by at the moment. No. But then but... again, we haven't been this way, so I'm guessing there's only so many places it could be, and we've pretty much been through everywhere here today, so. We yeah. can probably find one out. I uh, kick the stone down. Then go down myself. Click, 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 click. Stone lands down with you all. 
I untie rope around my middle. The rope goes slack. So you're making what? your way through this cave. It starts to twist and turn into the darkness, and you can hear the sound of slivering. Something wet moving over a hard surface in the distance. What did air go down the tunnel? Maybe it fell. So do you guys hear that? Maybe there's another entrance? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I'll start holding Brendan's hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you two are so cute. If I could see you, I would push you. Wow. Oh. Are we going in circles? You catch a faint shadow ahead. Just on the edge, you can see the corner of the slime. Nice. I point in this direction. There's a slime there. I'm sure you can't see it, Mr. Martinez, but there's a slime ahead. Take care of it. And also, go the other way and sneak past it. What is the other way? Point it's again, whisper. this way. But there's another one there as well. I, th I think I, I actually see a third one. Okay, then try and take them out one by one, sneakily. Within their numbers. I throw a glue ball at this one. As you pull your arm back and peek around the corner so slightly, you notice this one seems a bit bigger than some of the others. Okay, Not uh, massively, but it seems bigger than the ones you've seen so far. I think they're bigger down here. But you're still throwing your glue ball? Yes. Eleven. 11 hits or 12 you throw it at it and you see the uh, glue immediately take effect and start to solidify part of it as it turns into a congealed mush but part of it pulls away and it looks towards you and quivers and you can hear a sound further around in the cave we're now in an initiative sure. I thought that was my turn. I, I smack it. Well, technically, I should make that be your turn, but there. Uh, oh, you smack it away. Sneak attack. <laughs> Does sneak attack give me advantage? No, it doesn't. Uh, you've already attacked those, so it's no longer sneaky. <laughs> so you it try to right. whack it with your quarter staff, and you just hit the congealed mass that it left behind. Hera, your turn. Can I get just above it there? Oh, yeah, there's enough space, though. I will go there, then stab it with my short sword. Stab away. A six. Six misses. I'm having some really good rolls with this. I shall end my turn. Brandon. The bit that Brandon is going to briefly whisper to David that they are moving up towards another slime before dragging him Long. It's actually space for him to stand there, though, I think. Do, are, do they. Um, have they noticed us? Um, Brandon will. Well, actually, yeah. He'll just, say, he'll just say yes. Just kind of keeping it brief. Yeah, okay. Um, is there a room for Brandon to stand between Clara and drink him? I'm gonna say because of the outcrop there. And uh, no. I would say that what he would do then in that case is he's going to move. Up behind uh, Jun, going to do a poison spray. Well, attempt to, so can't save 12. Let's double check the stats on this, sorry. Yes, okay. Let's close the page back since I needed. Of course I did. It fails its save. Indeed it does. Okay. Um, poison spray. Okay, then. 11 poison damage. Oh yeah, it's a d12, isn't it? You're actually rolling good damage, what the fuck? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I was just thinking, I, I didn't want to say anything, now you've said it. <laughs> I'm not going to roll well anymore. What remains of it fizzles away into a pool of blackish goo. Is that injured turn? Yes, it will. Get it. David. Seeing as how I am blinded, I will whisper. How many are they? Um, round three. Yeah. Then I will cast uh, light on a pebble. And yeah. uh, 
Again, his yeah. light is suddenly blooming in the oh, middle yeah. of the darkness. <laughs> Brandon and John and Kara. Oh, give me a con save, beating 10, ideally. 12. Oh, my things. They all got it. Nice. Did... Oh, yeah, okay, so we... I take it. And then it's I'll... all up inside. This will be flash bombing them. It's all up And then my turn. Yeah, then. Slime's turn. If you yeah. would put light on a boombox thingy, would it be a flash bang? It would. Okay. Hmm. One moves up and makes an immediate second to you. Kara, there's a 16 hit. It does. It'll swipe at you and just catch your knee for one damage. As you feel your knee start to sizzle away a little bit. If Given the, the extent of Kara's damage, the damage Kara's taken from these before, I don't she'll notice it as much. One of them moves up to attack you, David. An 18 hits. That hits. Ooh. Okay. Right. So, this one hits it's you and you feel it. Smack against your leg, you take three bludgeoning damage, which is then followed by a searing pain as you take four acid damage. I'm done. Okay. And finally, the last slime will start to move up. Jun, your turn. You hear the sound of David collapsing behind you. If so, you're right. Okay, uh. You spare the dying. And that immediately stabilizes, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't give him one hit point, though, does it? Uh, doesn't say anything about it. It just stabilizes. Yeah, it just stabilizes so you don't make death saves. But you spur the dying, and what was teetering on the edge is now in safe ground. Ooh. That's all I can do. Okay, then. Arrow. <sighs> Sigh. Another six. That hits. Ah. Ooh. Roll your damage. A seven. You stab down into the slime, and you pierce straight through it chunk of it gets slit straight away a small part of it remains wibbling at you I'm going to assume it was the bottom one was it that you attacked? Yes okay. And you end your turn? I do Brandon right, Brandon is going to move onto the other side of David trying to just block this slime's uh, path okay. and um, I think he's just going to do a uh, poison spray again Okie dokie we're going well for you so far. And I spoke too soon, I guess. <laughs> but, you see, I deliberately wasn't saying anything, so yeah, that just whiffs this time. But uh, yeah, Brandon is effectively trying to be a meat shield at the second. So uh, yeah, that's all he can do for now. Yeah then, David, you're currently passed out on the floor. Yeah, I'm unstable, so. I wonder how that actually works for during combat. I just got to double check that to see if there's anything you can do. Yeah, because usually you'd be rolling the same for us for the potential to stay back up, but or get back up. I'm like, no point. But yeah, we haven't had this situation before where someone's actually been stable during combat. Hmm. I regain one hit point after one d4 hours. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe <laughs> four. Sure, we gotta keep you laying there for a few hours. Three hours. Get him. Oh no. I can't think. <laughs> we might be done by then. You. Or we'll be dead. As you lie there, you see in front of you a starry sky. The walls stretching up to the ceiling were blind with books. And it's Slime's turn. Oh, goody. So let's start with the one in front of Brandon. And it is going to take the bait. It's going to immediately whap at you. And it whips and misses. Uh, that it does, fortunately. That's going to move uh, that dead one out of the way. This one's going to move up. And it's going to go for you, John. 17. Oh. Yeah. It Ooh. attempts to glob onto you and manages to just about catch your foot. And you feel your toes start to sizzle. And Kara, the one is going to go for you after moving up five foot. I'm going to just let you know that only just misses. Okay, that's good to know. And because it's a critical fail, I'm going to say that it overbalances itself and rolls around a little bit too much, so the next attack on it will have an advantage. That's the end of the slime's turn. So, go on. I... the one in front of me with my quarter step. It's away. Hits. Nine. Three damage. 
you bring down your quad staff and it just about manages to flack it against the ground and it dissipates into a puddle of messiness. It's the end of my turn. Kara. I will stab the one that I will have advantage against. Stab away. 15 or... And then 14. That's a 15 hits. 3 damage. Because. And oh, you slip it away, part of its trail that was trailing behind it. And it wibbles at you. It seems very angry at you. Eh, what are you gonna do? Brendan, your turn. Um, he's gonna try for the poison spray again. Okie dokie. 17. No. Wow. You spray okay. and it opens up its sensor so it goes right through it. Bug coming back together into a big blob. Brandon is just going to amount cheeky shit under his breath. More than that, yeah, me ends its turn. Sadly, you don't have vicious mockery. David. Amongst these large and tall bookcases, you see a familiar figure strolling down, looking amongst the volumes. Slime's turn. Brandon, who assumes 16 hits. hits. Yep. First is bludgeoning damage as it swings at you, hits you for two right in the stomach, followed right. by four sizzling in your um, midsection. That, that is exactly enough to take him down. You feel your stomach boil as the outer layer of skin on it starts to peel away and you collapse. Yeah. All right, Brand Brandon is down. Girl power! I don't think it's the moment for girl power. Kara, does 15 hit? It does. You feel a sizzling pain against your leg again as the acid splashes against it. And mm. John, it's your turn. You hear another person collapse behind you. Brandon, what's that you? I go back, standing over, over Brandon's uh, unconscious body, and do another prayer to die. <laughs> okay, okay. And you end your turn. Uh, do I need to roll a d4 to see when I'll regain consciousness? Yep. Go ahead. One. The one time you want a small number. Okay, okay. Do you end your turn? I would just push glue ball into the slime. That count as a bonus action? I'd have to make it an attack action doing that. It's not an inanimate object, so I couldn't consider it an interaction. But can I place it between me and the slime? Or if he gets over it? I'd allow you to drop it on the floor below you. Sure. I'll drop a glue ball. You have a glue ball on the floor below you. Effectively on Brandon's body. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I could see this go terribly. Ara, it's your turn. I will continue to attack this one in front. Attack away. A 17. 17 hits. For 4 damage. You slice off half of what's left of it, effectively, but a small bit of it still remains quibbling at you. Brandon, you feel yourself falling into darkness before you suddenly land. You get up and you're on your feet, looking around at a large, desolate plain before you that you see countless bodies lying in. David. The figure continues to peruse the books, pulling out one after the other, slowly flicking through the pages before replacing them. The slime's turn. First one's going to attack Kara. Uh, no, no, that There's doesn't matter. There's a natural hit. 20. Fucking hell. Okay, three damage. You feel it try to crawl up your leg briefly and your leg starts to burn. Maybe I shouldn't have put two big ones in here. Oh well. Ah, 16 hits, I take it. It hits. Full flushing damage as you feel it hit you straight in the stomach as well, and two acid damage, it starts to burn away at your midsection. Oh, wow! I'm down! Oh, hi! Oh, oh bye. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh, oh, um... no! Um, guys! <laughs> right. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, man. Ara. Yes? It's your turn. Um, 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 I, I'm going to panic and attack the one in front of me again. Attack away! Um... Roll damage. Four. You slice down at it and you peer straight through it and it dissipates into nothing. Cool. Okay. 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 And you're around top of him when you fell down. So, <laughs> the slime is oh, going to start no. to slide its way along. And it'll okay. end its turn. John, give me a death save. Okay. You succeed your first save. Ara. Yes. What are you going to do? So, I'm only allowed to use Lay on Hands once, regardless of how much I heal, right? Uh, I've completely forgotten off the top of my head now. I'm I pretty thought sure Lay of Hands know. was you, had a, you have a pool and you can kind of. Use I, don't you can heal I don't think you could heal multiple people at the same time. I will move the opposite way around this pillar and use Lay on Hands to restore 3 HP to June. 
Just because I don't want to TPK, I'm going to not take an opportunity attack. In my defense, it looks like there is a pillar there between us. Yeah, true, actually true, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. John, you suddenly snap back to life. Aww. You take a deep breath in suddenly. Carl is looking very panicked here. You're lying <gasps> down in a heap on top of Brandon. Did he pop the glue ball? Where <laughs> Yep. Oh no! <laughs> oh fuck me. Start slipping out of my hoodie. And with that, it's the slime's turn. Unless, Kara, you have anything else? I get 30 feet of movement, right? Yep. I will move over here to try and block everyone else. Oh. More slimes at time. Okay. It was moving around, so I'm going to have it continue to move around. It starts to move away, going to where you were. Jun, you're currently lying down on top of Brandon. As you start to try to move a little bit, you feel you're effectively stuck to him. Can I try to wriggle out of my hoodie? Uh, yeah, sure. I would say you're able to wriggle out of your hoodie. Does that, like, take uh, movement? I'm going to say, given the process stand up is half movement, I'll take an additional five off the remaining then. So I'll be ten foot of movement left. I throw a glue ball. Roll to hit. That definitely hits. Roll 2d8. Okay. You throw your glue ball and it goes right into its center mass and you see a large part of it start to congeal and harden that it immediately moves away from. Going down to just a bit below half its size. I give myself is... sanctuary. Oh, okay then. This <laughs> man needs to make a wisdom safe before it can attack June. So use it on yourself? Yeah, on myself. Okie dokie. Kara, what are you doing? I am going to get behind this slime and stab it in the back. You get behind it and slap it in the back then. Wendy, let's go! Oh! A 17. 17 hits. Mm -hmm. 7 damage. Okay. You stab down and your sword goes right through it and it dissipates into a puddle of slush. I'm assuming there's no more slimes around. I will be looking around for slime, more slimes. Roll me a perception check. A 15. There are no more slimes around. And I will immediately run to Brandon and David and use one my two remaining points, one of a piece of lay on hands. 